look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to talk about right now, ladies and gentlemen Is this whole woke movement Okay, it's a mentality It's not really limited to a a race or gender it's a absurd narrative of things in life now let me say like this most of the time it's promoted by liberals now i'm trying to get too political but i'm gonna be honest with my personal opinion this might not be the video for you to watch today but progressive liberals okay the people who continue to push the goalposts further and further and further and further a liberal is someone who um doesn't really recognize or want to go along with traditional or with tradition like for example the traditional gender roles that we have between man and woman uh liberal is kind of more like um both genders can marry each other uh you know and this, i'm just saying that i ain't trying to disrespect the lgbtqi whatever you know what i mean but it is what it is a liberal person just wants to have the freedom to do whatever they please so i'm gonna show you with these clips and by the third video i'm gonna give you some statistics Okay, that you may want to hang around for, but I'm gonna show you the results of this liberal type of thinking. Okay, now I want you to hear a woman who tells you that math is racist, and it's not a black person saying it. Hold on, let's get it. Hold on, you gotta see this. There we go. So I misunderstand. Are we saying that two plus two, if you say it's four, that's racist? I mean, that sounds like we may be mischaracterizing it. What, uh, if you can quickly sum it up. No, that's not mischaracterizing it at all. It's math is basically racist under this ideology because it says there is no such thing as an objective reality. So, okay, 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 okay. Math is racist because it's not saying that it's objective. Okay, subjective, when it's subjective, that means whatever it is subjective to you is a matter of your personal opinion, how you see it. When it's objective, it's more of a standard that exists. So if one plus one does not equal two, okay, then the world will probably fall apart because a lot of the math, a lot of math is used to create things, geometry and stuff like that. If you don't have a standardized, a standardized system in place, everything will be out of whack. Dimensions will be out of whack. Depth of something will be out of whack the width of something the height of something will be out of whack and she's trying to destroy the world basically this is liberal thinking moving the goalposts everything that is traditional this is a traditional mindset about one plus one equals two that's a traditional this is a liberal progressive mindset where she wants to change everything and have the freedom to do whatever the hell she want to do even with education even with arithmetic this is what I'm saying. This is part of that woke movement. This is what they consider in part to be the woke movement. The thing that you hear um, a lot of people in our black community speak about, I'm woke, I'm woke. What they mean is I'm a liberal. And sometimes that means I'm a feminist liberal, a progressive feminist liberal. Sometimes that's what that means. Let's keep going. So you know that two plus two isn't four racist under this ideology because it says there is no such thing as an objective reality so four might not be the right number two plus two might actually equal five what an idiot what an idiot but she's woke she's aware of everything and that's what even a black person i'm gonna show you some black people in a minute now um the third clip is when you're gonna see these uh statistics you may want to hang on for that after i do the um the third clip i'm gonna give you a whole bunch of those we got a story calling a spade a spade, man. Today, I learned that my dislike for maths was because maths is actually racist. Yep, you heard that right. The California State Education Panel thinks two plus two equals four is inequitable and no longer wants to make getting the right answer the main objective of mathematics. Californian educationalists, they claim teaching methods were racist and they needed to be overhauled so that non-white pupils could, and I quote, reclaim their mathematical ancestry. Seriously, you couldn't make this stuff up. Under their ideas, getting the right answer is simple. It's called white supremacy. Wow. And we wonder why the world is going mad. Well, it starts with this rubbish. So, mathematics now is white supre uh, supremacy. So that would include languages of any kind. 
anything where there's a system in place, anything that is traditional, anything that is understood and proven to be effective is white supremacy. Just like we had the patriarchy and we have proven through the patriarchy to be successful. We have built civilizations, societies, um, had innovations and in technology because of the patriarchy. But because of liberals, because of progressive woke people who rebel against um, gender roles, we don't have marriages like we used to. Women, if they get into marriage now, they see themselves down there as the head of the household. They must be domineering. That is a liberal, progressive state of mind. Okay? So this woke this woke narrative is destroying all communities, not just black, all. We have to get some restraint. And liberals don't like restraint, in my most humble opinion. Let me um put something else up here for you right quick. I told you after the third one. You got to watch this. We got a story calling a spade a spade. Now, liberals are about the pronouns. You got to respect somebody. If you see a man and that man doesn't uh, identify as a man, you got to call a man a she or a her. How How is that fair? Because you putting that on, now you're coercing me to go along with what you believe. Cause, cause to you, you believe you're something. I believe that you're not that. We both can get along and be civil and don't disrespect each other and live our lives. Because this is not bashing anybody. I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. But I shouldn't have to call you a pro now that I don't believe that you are simply because you say so. You got to keep in mind, everybody raised differently. If I believe a man is a man, he's a he and he's a him, regardless of what he thinks he may be. I don't have to call him anything but that. Now, if you don't like it, you can get the hell on, move around, and I can get away from you. But when I see you, even if I disagree with your beliefs, I have the right to disagree with it, but I could be respectful to you. And you could be respectful to me. It doesn't have to be any violence. It doesn't have to be any disrespectfulness going on. I don't have to accept you. Now, that's a problem with this world today. Everybody's big on inclusion. You got to include, include, include. Everything's not meant to be included. Everyone is not meant to be accepted. Do you accept um, Jim Jones? Do you, do you accept Adolf Hitler? David Koresh? Ted Bundy? Do you accept serial killers? Do you accept molesters? No, because of certain things about them you don't agree with. And that may be an extreme analogy, but I'm trying to show you that everyone is not supposed to be accepted in society in certain ways. Everybody can be respected, but everybody don't have to accept everything you believe in. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. We have to start calling a spade a spade, man. What are your pronouns? Uh, I go by any pronouns. I'm gender fluid. Really? Is that what that definition is? Gender fluid? Sort of. It's like you feel like one gender one day, maybe another the next, or like neither. Okay, let me tell you what this is. Now, let me put some um, statistics on the screen, man. A lot of you don't understand that shit. I did some um, research on that, that gender fluid thing. I'm going to give you a whole lot of information, man. Let's break it down. All right, let me make sure it's on the screen first. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to put it on the screen for you. Yeah, we got to start calling a spade a spade, man. All right, there it is. Let's get it. Gender fluidity. What is that? Gender fluidity is a non-fixed gender identity that shifts over time or depending on the situation. These fluctuations can occur at the level of gender identity or gender expression. In other words, like she said, depending upon the circumstance, depending on what is basically turning that individual on. That day, that person can decide to be a boy, a girl, a man, a woman. It depends. It's almost like being bisexual, but they want to have a different term for it because they always have terms now. So it's basically being able to sleep with whoever you want to sleep with, being attracted to whoever you want to be attracted to. Okay? How common? No, one statistic. How common is gender fluidity? Though a 22... Though a 2022 Pew Research Center study found that 1.6 of U.S. adults are transgender or non-binary, Dr. Eckler said it's not known how many people are gender fluid. Sometimes statistics on the transgender population include gender fluid people, and sometimes they don't. That was six days ago. Now, let me tell you something. The reason why it says that because people who identify as transgender, they do fuck women too. Some of them do. Okay? They don't just you know, mess with men or whatever like that, they can go both ways and still 
look like um dress how they want to look present themselves as um a woman all that stuff okay so that's why it says that they're just basically going both ways when they decide to whatever they feel attracted to at that day now according to the ucla school of law the williams institute now non-binary i'm gonna say this non-binary means the same thing when you say gender fluidity gender fluid that means non-binary meaning that some people don't identify with any gender non-binary normally means they don't i'm gonna show that if i still have that where a woman says don't say that i'm a man don't say that i'm a woman don't say none of that i am non-binary i don't identify with um male or female genders okay you have that as well so let me go ahead now according to this um statistic 41 percent of non-binary adults report that their health is in that that is poor or fair 51 percent of them has symptoms consistent with serious mental serious mental illness again 51 percent of them has symptoms consistent with serious mental illness and 39 percent had attempted suicide which is unfortunate now again what identifies as gender fluid fluid is a form of gender identity or gender expression rather than a sexual orientation that goes back to what i said well ago you can't say that you either male or female you fluid, you flux weight, you, you in between, you could be whatever you want to. Now back to the thing. Fluid relates to how a person identifies themselves internally and presents themselves to the world. A person who is gender fluid may identify as male one day, female the next, both male and female, both male and female or neither. So they can both be on the same day, male and female. According to the webmd.com, that's where that particular statistic came from. And this was came out July 2nd, 2023. Another definition of non-binary, okay? It says, not relating to, composed of, or involving just two things. Down to number two. Denoting, having, or relating to a gender identity that does not conform to traditional binary beliefs about gender which indicate that all individuals are exclusively either male or female. That's part of that liberal movement. It's against traditional gender roles. So when they say that they are non-binary, they're liberal, okay? And progressive, okay? Now, in some ways, being progressive is good. In some ways, it's not. Some, some ways, being a liberal is good. In some ways, it's not. Now, let's get back to the, um, the story, the show. Let me put that that back up for you one second ladies and gentlemen there it is let's listen to the rest of this neither or any of them so if i refer to you as a ver a tur a zur a zim a her a him a they a them it doesn't matter yeah no it doesn't matter <laughs> what are your pronouns uh they them they them mm -hmm. so does that mean you are both a guy and a girl or could you give me some i don't know what that uh, means i would say neither but he said he's there, there, but he said he's not none of them. At the, he, so he everybody, nobody at the same time. Either way, I don't really care. So literally, I would say uh, instead of, hey, man, how are you doing? I'd say, hey, them. I mean, I don't care if you say, hey, man, because that's more of a, that's become more of a neutral term to me. Same with dude and guy. But like, if you were to refer to me, you wouldn't say he, you would say they. So if I was to say, uh, wow. If I was to refer to you, I'd say they're wearing a balloon hat, not he's wearing a balloon hat. Yeah. Wow. I see. What are your pronouns? <laughs> he, him, sometimes it. Sometimes it. Man, it. So now you also a car? Really? <laughs> he, him, sometimes it. Sometimes it. Yeah. What does that mean? It just means that I have a creature. A creature. Yeah. That I am sometimes. And I shouldn't be frightened by that, right? I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> it's just for the folks. A lot of times, he, him is, is you know, they're my preferred pronouns. If you're, if you're in the, those pronouns. For me personally, when I first started hearing about the pronouns thing, I was uh, annoyed. But I recognize that if annoyance is the only thing that I've got, the only reason I've got to not use the pronouns, then I should freaking use the pronouns. So that's what I do. The pin on your hat says they, them, theirs. That's to remind me there's like a, um, there's like a, uh, transgender community. And I have a friend, she's always telling me, you know, it's, it's them. And I'm like, wait, I can't call him, her, a them, even though him and her equals them. I said, I'm still talking to one person. So I'm starting to try to. 
Now, do you see how confusing this shit is? Nobody in the LGBTQIA community should be upset at heterosexual people because they are confused. Because this is downright confusing. It is. You don't know who to say what to what the what the you say the wrong thing to get offended. Oh, and nobody's trying to. Say, I'm not bashing you either. I'm saying everything I say. I, it's my humble opinion. I'm saying it respectfully, but I'm gonna be real at the same time. This is some weird ass shit, and this is very confusing. This is very confusing. Again, a part of the liberal woke movement that is messing up the communities. It's taking away basic common sense. Nobody wants to be offensive to nobody no more. Everybody too sensitive now. You say the wrong thing, they lose their mind. They want to protest. They want to march and shut you down and talk bad about you and bash you. They turn around and bash you for not bashing them. You say something that they consider that they don't like or offensive, they'll turn around and bash you and call you transphobic or homophobic, and you might not be any of that stuff. Trying to figure out how to, like, develop this, the, them, their, whatever, into my vocabulary. Just being a real hippie, wanting to have the most respect for people. What are your pronouns? Uh, either she, her, or they, them. What does they, them mean? Uh, pretty much it's when I'm feeling more of not gender confined, like, pretty much no gender. Wow. I choose to go by they, them. So you don't feel like a gender sometimes? Pretty much. Like, I'm... I told you. I told you. There are people out here... Who say they are not man or woman and when you look at them they look like a woman they look like a man but they say that they're not that they don't they're not that at all it's a real slippery slope it's no gender i choose to go by they them so you don't feel like a gender sometimes pretty much like i'm still questioning what my gender is wow like so how does that process work um, pretty much just I'm playing around with different gender identities and different pronouns until I figure out exactly which one. And so some days you feel like a what and some days you feel like a what? Some days I feel she, her. Other days, like today, I'm feeling more no gender. Wow. What are your pronouns? I use they, he pronouns. They, he. Yes. And what is they? So they is used as both singular and plural. It's used to affirm gender nonconforming people. And what does that mean? So gender is a spectrum with uh, men or more masculine presenting people on one side and female or more feminine presenting people on the other side. And then in between, it's just kind of like a, I don't really care, I don't apply to anything and you can just identify however you want. What are your pronouns? He, they. He, they. And they means they. What? So could you give me like a little bit of a like description of like, because I don't understand what that means. So there's he, she, and there's they. I'm they. And so like you're <laughs> them? Yep. And so like, are you multiple people? Yep. Really? Uh, yes. Yeah. Could you explain? Now you heard it. Oh, you heard it. On the Jeremy Hill show, this person said that he's multiple people. And back in the day, we'll call that schizo. Right? But not now. All you got to do is say you. That's why you have these situations where um parents are becoming afraid and stuff now about people who identify. They have a daughter and there's a man who identify as a woman, whatever it may be, and want to go into the same restroom with their little 10 year old daughter, 15 year old daughters, uh, you know, stuff like that, or going there with their wives, their fiance and stuff like that. This is one of the reasons why they are afraid of this stuff, because like if you can identify as whatever you want to, it's easy for you to fake it. You can say, look, even if you don't believe in this stuff, even if you say, I don't, I'm, I'm a straight heterosexual man, but at the same time, I'm a, a predator, a perverted predator. I'm going to go in the women's bathroom simply because I can now because I can lie and say that I identify as a woman just to go in there and do what I want to do, just to look at people or whatever I may want to do. It makes things dangerous for people now. It needs more rules and more restrictions and more restraint. But this woke liberal movement tell you to do whatever you please however you please and you must be understanding of it if not then you must be you're you have outdated thinking you're a traditionalist you may be a conservative and you just it's on the wrong side of history and stuff like that there's they i'm they and so like you're them yep and so like are you multiple people yep really yes could you explain that to me no uh <laughs> too much work but uh, I am a legion. I am legion. I am many. I am the one who is many. If you're familiar with Christianity in the Bible, legion was a, a man. He was possessed by over a thousand demons. And I believe when Jesus spoke to him, he said, what is your name? And that spirit came out and said, we are, my name is legion for we are many. And that's what he's saying.
the devil in him, in my humble opinion, is telling you exactly in your face who he is, why he thinks this way, why he wants to have pronouns. All this pronoun shit is just um, like the devil would be the master of division. It just divides us. All this is, is it causes confusion. It causes division. God is not the author of confusion. So if this is confusing people and causing division, my real question is, is God in it? And if he's not in it, who is? Would that leave the devil? Would that leave Satan? And I'm not trying to make this into a religious thing, but if for some of you who are pro-Virus 30, pro 31 women and pro all this stuff, and you go along with this, isn't that against scripture? Like I say, you can get no judgment from me. I'm just asking you a simple question. Let's keep going. Uh, I am a legion. I am legion. I am many. I am the one who is many. Ah. All right, y'all. Happy Friday. He's the... Oh, you don't want to answer any more questions? No, y'all have a good one. <laughs> All right. That was weird. But anyway, I got more to show you right quick. I'm going to show you this simp dude. Um, you might have seen him before on different types of um, podcasts and whatnot. He always defend women majority of the time, but he's being interviewed by my homegirl, Candace Owen, and she puts it to him straight. We got to be able to call a spade a spade. Now, I want you to hear the, the dumb shit that he's going to say. A lot of people are saying things because they want certain votes from certain groups of people. Or they're saying things that they don't even believe in because they want to keep getting your dollars. They want to keep making money off of you. So they tell you what they, what they think you want to hear. Even when science and biology declares that they're speaking falsehoods, they will look in the face of people who know the truth and still steady lie. So let's go ahead and play this right quick. Can men get pregnant? Uh, depends. I know. I know. What does I, it depend on? I, I, now, did you hear that? This woman asked a simple question. A simple question. Can men get pregnant? Can biological born men get pregnant? And this fool says it depends. Can men get pregnant? Uh, depends. I know. I know. What does wow. it depend on? I know trans men that can get pregnant. That that means it's a woman. Only one sex can well, get pregnant. That's a circular argument. That's it's not a circular question. argument. Yeah. It's proving my thing. There is a truth, a concrete truth. You have to be born with a uterus to have a baby. Only women can get pregnant. The fact that we that is the truth. I don't care who is offended by that. If you don't have a uterus and you weren't born as a biological woman, then you cannot have children. If that's not the case, then why you find people who are um, homosexual or lesbian they go adopt children? Because there's two women and two men are not physically able to bring forth the child. It takes a man and a woman. It takes a man's seed in a woman's fertile soil with her uterus, her womb, to bring forth a child. Why are we not calling a spade a spade? That should not be offensive to people from any community. That should not offend members of the LGBTQIA community or anyone in the heterosexual community. That is just science. That is just scientific. That's been scientifically proven. Why is the truth so offensive? Can you tell me why it's so offensive? Common sense is going out the window, man. You're not going to make me believe something that's not true like this, man. Women can get pregnant. The fact that we've arrived in a society right, that's the part I'm debatable. disagreeing with. That's the part I'm disagreeing There's with. There's nothing to disagree with. It. These are facts. So you can say that this person who is pregnant identifies as a man. That person was born a woman. I can tell you that every single time because only women can have sex because there are concrete truths about life. Have babies. That, that, can, can, I mean, can have uh, babies, pardon. And that, that is a hard truth about life. You cannot make that go away because you want to call a man, somebody who has a beard and dresses like a dude a woman. Only if it's pregnant, I'll, I can tell you exactly what it is. It's a woman. Um, what do you say a woman is? I believe that everyone can identify for themselves. Now, this was so sad about it. These politicians won't vote so bad and they are women, they are afraid to defend womanhood. Womanhood. Your mama, okay? Your mama's a woman. Your grandma's a woman. Your great-grandma's a woman. The people who was able to give birth to you is a woman. Now, you got a woman right here in front of them and said, what is a woman? And she said, I don't know. Uh, basically, uh, whatever you want. to. Come on, man. Are you so afraid of a certain community now? Because now their votes, you want their votes, you want it. This is selling out. You selling out the integrity of the country, the integrity of men and women just for a vote. It's nothing wrong for certain groups of people to not always get their way. Hell, I'm a black man. Black people have not been getting all their way for centuries in America. The Latino brother, the Mexican brother, they don't always get their way. Even some of the white folks don't always get their way. 
It's a give and take. You get a little bit here, take a little bit there. That's just how it is. No certain group get everything they want. Because once you do that, you're going to put them in a position where each individual in that group can be a dictator of how things go in the world. They will be able to dictate the rules and the, the society. They will control you and force you to conform to their ideologies and narratives. Okay? It's okay to stand up, stand up for what is right and to call a spade a spade. Black is black. White is white. Gray is gray. There's no in-between. Selves. Um, do, do you believe then that men can become pregnant and have abortions? <laughs> well, I wish I had the rest of that clip I would, because she's going to tell you something else stupid. Stand on what is right, man. And standing on what is right does not mean that you have to be violent or disrespectful, but stand for what is right. Do you know what the leading cause of death for pregnant people is? Pregnant people? Mm -hmm. Mothers? Women? If you'd like to call them mothers, not all of them are mothers, but if you'd like to call them that. Oh, God. What are they if they're not mothers? They're pregnant people. What, what people other than mothers are pregnant? Does it bother you to use inclusive language? I yes. prefer to use precise language. It's interesting because you can... <laughs> exactly. Not inclusive language, but precise language. Precisely right. To use inclusive language? I yes. prefer to use precise language. It's interesting because you come into this conversation, you know, trying to hold this moral superiority. But then when I... I, no, I, when I, I try I use, to be moral when I can, but I... Right. But when I use inclusive language, which it only takes a couple extra syllables to use inclusive language. To include and who? it seems... To include people who don't, you know, identify as women, but can become pregnant. The fuck? Like, man, this ain't hate speech at all, man. This is just, like I said, an educational video. This is a documentary of the things that's going on in America right now. Other countries are not dealing with this, believe it or not. There's some that got, is creeping into, but it's, other countries are fighting hard against this stuff, this American thing. Cause other countries try to follow what America do. Got one more to show you. We out here. So if I came up with my own religion Ooh, that triggered. is satanic, I was satanic, I yep. believe, and I yep. am. This woman is a satanist. She worships the devil, okay? So if I came up with my own religion Ooh, that triggered. is satanic, I was satanic, I believe, yep. and I yep, am. That's right. I'm a practicing pagan. Yep. I believe that I can do whatever I want, yep. and I have the right to an abortion in my religion, and yep. it's completely... So in discreet. many states that have restrictive laws against abortion, the temple of Satan is officially suing and asking for injunction stating that laws that prevent abortion prohibit Satanists from practicing their religion and meaning that because they believe a woman should be able to sacrifice a child to abortion as part of the religious practice. So do you agree? Now I want you to understand what she just said to her, okay? In the Church of Satan, they believe that, you know, you know back in the days when they were really evil type of people, they'll take children, babies that's born take those babies and sacrifice them for their pagan gods, right? So what they have done now, they upgraded, they have modernized the way of sacrificing little babies. So what they have done in the Church of Satan, they believe that um, they consider abortion to be the same thing for sacrificing a child to their pagan god, okay? Instead of going out there, dressed up in clothes with daggers and stuff and stabbing it and all stuff like that until it bleed out and die, they also will accept um, abortion for that. Because they believe, even the Church of Satan believe that abortion is killing a child. Okay? And there's a lot of us who believe the same thing, who are not members of the uh, Church of Satan. But the thing is, the Church of Satan, they bold with it. They say, we believe this is what it is. We like the fact that um, you're deleting your children because we, it serves our God. You see what I'm saying? But you have Christians who say, oh, well, no, no, you can do it. Suppose it, Christian. But you have people who worship the devil which is the, supposed to be the enemy of the Christian, the ones who serve the devil who is absolutely telling you that deleting children is satanic and we love it and we want to keep doing it to serve our God. Their, doc, their God. It's just something for you to think about, man. Something you think about. You agree with the Church of Satan? I believe that, yeah, Church of Satan should be able to do whatever they want. It's a religion. I believe we're in a free country and yeah. we're in America. God yeah. bless America. We're in a free Free country, we should wait, wait, all be. God bless I think you're pagan. I'm just saying what you guys would say. God bless America, right? Well, isn't God you're is Christian. I'm putting myself in your position. Um, God is the religious. God is the main religion in America, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Well, Christianity. Christianity is the main practicing religion in the United States, correct? Yes. Yes. So I am saying 
I am saying in my opinion, and yeah. I feel like, I mean, it's a free I country just, just that we should, we should be able to choose mm -hmm. whether or not we agree with abortion and not abortion. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it is not a free country. Uh, enough of that. Uh, anyway, I hope y'all got some education out this video right here. Made you think about some things. You don't have to agree with me. Like I said, if you easily triggered, leave now. But I just want to show you some different points of view. You know what I mean? Just a different point of view. My screen is trying to freeze up right now. Hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. I've been having, I might have to. Okay, there it is. One second. So anyway, like I was saying before, we got to get back to calling a spade a spade. You understand what I'm saying? We have to get back to calling a spade a spade. But it's important. It's very important that we do this. Excuse me right quick. Okay, there it is. Now, y'all have a good one now, you hear? Ooh.